So let's uh, talk about 30, 60, 90 um, triangles. And what I want to do is develop a sine, cosine, and tangent. Let's just start with 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Because these are ones that, that we can just know in the triangle. Um, we've done some work with these. We know that if uh, the hypotenuse is 1, the side opposite the 30 is, is half of that. And we know that the side opposite the 60 is root 3 times uh, times the one that's opposite of the 30. Um, and again, you can look at another video or uh, check notes for that. So um, that kind of helps me think about some things. So let me set up a little 30 degree angle here. So uh, take another color. If I had this come out to here, that's about 30 degrees. So I notice that uh, if I'm here at 30 degrees, um, I can just, you know, I have my triangle where there's a 30 degree angle here. I'm just labeling it out here. And notice that this side is root three over two, and this side is one half. And again, that, that hypotenuse is fixed at one. It's a unit circle. So if I think about um, sine, um, sine, in a triangle is opposite over hypotenuse, one half divided by one, which is just one half, and cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse, and so just root three, just root three over two. So that part is uh, super straightforward. Um, I'm gonna throw tangent out. We'll do tangent another time. I just want to think about these right now. Um, great. Um, notice that since sine is opposite over um, over hypotenuse, where the hypotenuse is 1, the sine is basically the y value because it's just how far up it went. And the cosine is the x value because notice it goes over root 3 over 2, up 1 half to do that triangle. So that's super straightforward uh, for 30 degrees. Let's do 60 degrees. So 60 degrees would be about here. So there's that. So 60 degrees. And if I notice 60 degrees, I have then this triangle right here, but that angle is 60 degrees. So if that's a 1, this side's 1 half, the x value is 1 half, and the side that's... Uh, oh, no, that's wrong. Sorry. Oh, no, that's right, because this is 60 degrees here. So that's 30 there. So at the 60 degree rotation, the side that's opposite the 30 is 1 half. The side that's opposite the 60 is root 3 over 2. So 60 uh, goes to, it terminates at the point 1 half root 3 over 2. And uh, since what I'm doing sine, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is 1. Um, I can, again, start thinking of sine as the, the y value in the unit circle, because it's opposite. And cosine is the x value. So that means sine would be square root of 3 over 2, and cosine would be 1 half, that means that x value. Great, so let me clean this up just a little bit, get some of these out of here. So the next one that I want to do is um, 120 degrees. And I, I picked 120 degrees because um, Notice if I had like a rotation of 120 degrees, my reference angle here would be 60, right? That would get me out to 180. So basically I just have a, uh, something that looks about like this. And notice I'm talking about this rotation right here being 120 degrees. And if that's the true, then this must be 60. So I'm out here at 120 degrees, that rotation. And if I think about my triangle, that must be 30. And that's my right angle. So hypotenuse is 1. The side that's opposite the, the 30 degrees has a length of 1 half. But notice it's going to the left. It has direction. So it's actually negative 1 half. And then the y component, it's going up, which is still uh, root 3 over 2 which I think, uh, one thing that I think is really interesting about that is notice it has 
um, an interesting symmetry with the 60 degree. They're both at the same height, right? So they both have the same y value, root 3 over 2. And then the width is the same, just in opposite directions. So where this is a root 3 over 2, a 1 half root 3 over 2, this one over here, same height, root 3 over 2, but in a gated x value. It's like it's reflected across. So that means um, 120 degrees, the sine value, the height, the y, must be negative 1 half. And then the... Um, Oh, no, that's, uh, sorry, that was the x value. The sine value must be root 3 over 2. And then the cosine, the adjacent, the x is negative 1 half. Great. So um, as you can guess, probably the next uh, angle that I want to do is another one that's going to give me 30, 60, 90. So notice if this had a reference angle of 60, I'm going to do the next one that has a reference angle of 30, and that would be... Um, 150 degrees. So if I do 150 degrees now, boop, 150, it's going to have a reference angle of 30. So I'm going to get that in here. Notice that angle right there is 150 degrees, that turn. So that means that this little reference angle in here is a 30. So if I draw that triangle, so that's opposite the 30 is a 1 half. Notice it's just like this. So this 30, same height, so the y value is 1 half, <laughs> 1 half. And then the width, notice this is a positive root 3 over 2. This is off that 60, so this is going in a negative direction, so this would be a negative root 3 over 2. So for 150 degrees, my sine, my y value is going to be positive 1 half. And then my x value is going to be negative root 3 over 2. And um, you can just fill in all the rest of the, the angles, the 30, 60, 90s around the circle that do the same thing. So let me get some of them, uh, the other ones written on here that, that I want to do. Well, I'll just, so I have 150. I'm going to do 210. Um, I'm going to do 240. I'm going to do 300. And I'm also going to do uh, 330. <laughs> so let's do the 330 right now, um, since my pen's already that color. Notice 330. That'd be this rotation all the way around to here. There's 330 degrees. That's a little 30 degrees right there. I can figure out the whole 30, 60, 90 thing again. But since I already know this one, it's going to be symmetrical with that. Notice it has the same x value. Root 3 over 2. And the y value is just the reflection of this one. So this one's up a half. This one's going to be down a half. So for, uh, for 330 degrees, my sine, the y value, negative 1 half. Let me get that out of there. And the, the cosine, the adjacent, is uh, the x value, 3 over 2. Okay, so like I said, the rest of these are going to get filled in uh, similarly. So let's go back to, uh, I think that one was for 210. 210 is uh, 30 degrees past 180. So notice I've got my 30 degrees right there. Because if that's 210. This part right here is 30. And I could draw in my triangle if I like, but I also can notice that it's symmet not symmetrical, but like reflected across the x-axis of this point. So they have the same x value. They both go back um, 210 degrees. They both go back uh, neg negative root 3 over 2. 
And then this one, since this one went up a half, this one must go down a half. So for 210, uh, the x value is root 3 over 2. That's cosine of negative root 3 over 2. And then the um, y value, that sine, is negative 1 half. Uh, then I have 240. So 240 is going to give me a 60 degree angle off of, off of 180. See if I can match the color. I tried to do them in order. Notice I'm talking about this rotation right here. That should be 240 degrees. And if that is, that means this is 60. I have a nice little 30, 60, 90 in here. It's also uh, reflective of this 120. So they have the, the same x value. They both come back negative one half and then whereas this one went up root three over two this one's going to go down root three over two and knowing that gives me those values notice my x is one half right it goes back one half that's adjacent or cosine and then um, it goes down root three over two that's my y value or my opposite which gives me sine negative root three over two. And the last one that we need to think about is 300 degrees. Uh, 300 degrees will be 30 degrees, uh, no, 60 degrees off of a full rotation. So 300 degrees, that would be this rotation right here. Notice that makes this a 60. You could think about that right triangle that's in there. Or you could also think it's going to be the reflection of that 60 degree point. So um, since this one went over a half in a positive direction, this one does as well. So the x value is 1 half. And the y value, that's a positive root 3 over 2. This is a negative root 3 over 2. So x is 1 half, that's our cosine value. y is negative root 3 over 2, that's our sine value. Opposite. And then notice from that 30, 60, 90, I, get, I, like, I have all of these exact values for, these, um, for all these different angles. For eight of them. So that is uh, the second part of unit circle thinking.